Welcome back to Scale Down Tucson Dragway. After a couple of eight car events, an open invitational to kick off the summer series, and they came out in droves. A hundred plus entries here this weekend. So sit back, settle in. We've got cars from all over the country and even out of the country as we get set for our first open competition here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway. It is a warm afternoon, track temperatures up, traction is going to be at a premium here today as we get into the summer months here in Arizona. And our first pair up, it is going to be one of those international incidents. Olivia Miller sent us the Mustang on the left side of the racetrack all the way from Bowling Green, Kentucky. And it's going to go off against Richard Winnicott's Alberta, Canada-based Cruise Bruiser. Check it out. Looks like it'd be more at home hooked to a sled. All right, how about the puller? Gets it done. You can see that blower really making up horsepower as they closed in on the top end. And our first winner, the Canadian Bruiser, heads to round two. Coming up next on the left side of the racetrack, in from Hesperia, California, this is Rich Bonner's machine. Triumph TR6, but it's got a big block twin turbo Chevrolet stuffed under the hood. Ron Sh Shelley on the right side, the V8 Vega down from Phoenix. Got to believe the turbo car may have a little bit of a horsepower advantage. Let's see. Oh, the Triumph jumps off the starting line. Looked like all that horsepower spun the tires. He slows, and the Vega advances to round two. Out of the box next. Out of North Carolina, Elijah Cunningham sent us that Hot Wheels racer. We said we're racing. Elijah said, I'm going to the rack and finding me a race car. And over on the right side of the racetrack, that is Mindy, also known as Mayhem Bonner, the Boss 302 65 Mustang. Nitrous in the Mustang, but no, the Hot Wheels racer holds her off down to the stripe. Mayhem comes up short here in round number one, and Elijah Cunningham will advance. Rolling up now on the left side, sent in by John Deemer out of Brewster, Massachusetts. It's long way from home, the 32 Ford High Boy with a blower sticking up on top. His opponent here in round number one is going to be the car of Xander Winnicott, another one of the Alberta Canada entries. Check out the Moon Eyes Wagon. That has got a mid-mounted fuel-injected big block. Traction shouldn't be an issue for the wagon with the motor all the way in the back of the car as they line up for the first round. Oh, the Ford gets out of control, goes upside down, and the wagon goes straight to round number two. Good solid run for the Moon Eyes car. Safety rolls in to check on the driver, and we get the two thumbs up. Continuing on, this time on the left side of the track, out of Wilcox, Arizona, that 69 Dodge Charger with a big block. Mark Wilson sent that one to us, and his opponent here in round number one, no, your eyes aren't deceiving you. That is a Formula One racer out of Kingman, Arizona. Owen Hansen said, hey, Formula One's not racing either. Let's take it to scale down Tucson Dragway and show you that these things are quick out of the box. You ever watch a Formula One car come off a pit road? Those things ain't shabby, and he is headed to round two. Rolling in here next, a little bit of early iron, the 1970 Chevelle, and that one belongs to Kanan George from right here in Tucson, Arizona, trying to defend his home turf against that Fox body Ford with a small block. Abigail Miller from Bowling Green, Kentucky sent that one in. Classic Ford versus Chevy match here, and this one is going to be all Ford. The little small block started boosting its way down the racetrack and holds off the Chevrolet all the way to the stripe. We'll race just about anything here at Scaled Down Tucson Dragway. Joshua Miller out of Bowling Green sent us that 1968 GT California Special Classic Ford. And yes, that's Nemo. Veronica Reyna from right here in Tucson thinks that Nemo can get it done here at Scaled Down Tucson Dragway. Oh, and Nemo upside down, sliding down the racetrack while the California Special heads on its way. And well, you know the, uh, the theory for Nemo, right? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Not today. All the way from Bowling Green, Kentucky, Madeline Miller sent us that Nissan Skyline GTR R34. That is a bad little road car. And Brianna Rowley, a little closer to home, 1971 Buick Riviera. Don't see a whole lot of those on the drag strip. And we're not going to see that one again this weekend either because the GT Nissan able to hold them off. And Madeline Miller's machine advances to round number two. Up now, the final entry from the Miller family. This is Langston Miller's 92 Mustang out of Bowling Green, Kentucky. So far, the Millers, three in the win column and one L. And on the right side of the racetrack is going to be Riker Rogel from here in Tucson. That is a 1969 classic Chevelle. Wow, look out for the Miller family. Four out of five as they go into round number two with the Mustang as well, taking the W here in round one. 
We're going to have a pickup battle coming in next. Another one of the family affairs, the Winnicott family out of Alberta, Canada, sent to that Dodge Express over on the left side is Liam's machine. And Julian Renya from right here in Tucson, she wanted to see Yoshi race. And it's going to be the Dodge over on the right side getting it done. The Canadian machine taking care of business while Yoshi hung a wheel out of the groove right there and comes to a stop at half track. You didn't think Batman was going to miss a chance to race at scale down Tucson Dragway, didn't you? Well, Ito Rogel was going to make sure he didn't. That's the Batmobile there on the left side of the racetrack. Going to take on the Flathead Fury all the way from Secaucus, New Jersey. Alexander Brown sent that one across the country. Whoa, and it flies into the tree right off the starting line. And that means your winner is going to be the Batmobile. Don't mess with Batman. No, 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 no. Next up is going to be Raiden Rogel trying to join his brother in the second round. That is a Firebird over on the left side, a regular here at Tucson Dragway. And Sean Brewster, also from Tucson, the Surfer Mobile. Wow, the Surfer Mobile goes crazy. And how about that? Even after it goes over three times, still got the surfboard latched on top. Let's go surfing now. Everybody's learning how. Cars tore up. Driver's okay. The Firebird goes on. This one's going to be a Tucson matchup and a couple of Chevrolets. Mike Yuslis in the new generation Corvette, topless on the left side of the racetrack. And that is Stephanie Murphy on the right side, the Z28. Regular Tucson matchup, great side-by-side -side run. The Corvette gets the better of it. Stephanie puts up a good fight, comes up just a little bit short, and Michael will advance to round two. How's this for a unique machine? Connor Murphy sent us... The Snake, I don't know how else to describe it, over there on the left side of the racetrack. And in the right lane is going to be Chris Collins, another Tucson-based machine, that 1956 Ford truck. And the Snake taking care of business as the truck gets loose on the starting lines, ends up out of shape, bouncing off the wall and coming to a stop. We'll see the Snake in round two. Well, when we said send in Hot Wheels, some of the guys really went the imagination route. Check out the one that Eliza Wallace sent in. Tomb Up, yep, that is a big old mummy car. I don't even know where you find one of those things. And he is going to take on the Fast Master all the way down from frozen North Dakota. It's 100 degrees at scale down Tucson Dragway. They're shoveling snow in North Dakota. But the North Dakota car is going to go down here, and Tomb Up is staying alive. All the way from Rockford, Illinois, Rex McCullough sent us that 1982 Shelby Cobra that's going to take on the left side of scale down Tucson Dragway. And you talk about a perfect car for here in Arizona, Phil Howell sent us the Solar Reflex electric-powered machine. Yep, it is a bright, sunny, 100-degree day here, and power is not a problem. Phil Howell getting his juice from the sun and going into round number two. How many of you thought the Wienermobile was the only hot dog hot wheel? You'd be wrong. Cat Martin sent us the street wiener, and that's going to be on the left side of the racetrack here. And over in the right lane, that is Colton Sterling's Mustang Mach 1 from Kingman, Arizona. The wiener takes it to the stripe. And I mean, all you got to do is dang a little mustard at the end of the racetrack. You know that car's getting there first. I guarantee you the street wiener is relishing that round win. Tyrone Oliver out of Glendale sent us that 1973 Falcon XB that's lined up now over on the left side of the racetrack. And that is Jerry Wallace Jr.'s bone shaker. You don't want to be shaking out here at scaled down Tucson Dragway. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, the bone shaker hangs a wheel out of the groove and right down to the stripe goes Tyrone Oliver. Put that Falcon in the second round. Battle of the Orange Machines rolling in next. Ryan Labatt sent this one from Albuquerque. The Reese's Convertible going to attack the left side of the racetrack. And Louis Ingalls all the way from New York. And that is a brand new, I mean brand new Corvette. And the ZR1 taking care of business. Great side-by-side -side drag race, but the New York Corvette will advance. It is a perfect day to put the top down here at scaled down Tucson Dragway, and that's exactly what Jace Renault decided to do with that 65 Mustang drop top. And his opponent here in round number one is going to be that 1952 Chevy all the way from New Brunswick. Butch McLeod sent us that one. But it is a beautiful day for a convertible, and it's a nice run down the racetrack for Jace. All that junior dragster experience paying off his first time racing a big car here at scaled down Tucson Dragway. Only at scaled-down Tucson Dragway would you see a matchup like this. 
Do not adjust your set. That is the Mickey Mouse Mobile that Maria Drugel sent us. She's from right here in Tucson, Arizona. And up next to it, how about the 850 Volvo Wagon out of Elk Grove, California? Michael Lee. Oh, Mickey. I think Mickey might have broken ear on that one, ending up upside down on the side of the racetrack, and that means the win is going to go to Michael in the Volvo. Only at Scaled Down Tucson Dragway could you see a matchup like this. That is the diaper dragger that was sent in by Baby Thompson of Marana, Arizona. And his opponent here in round number one, the 1969 T-Bird of Christopher Marino from right here in Tucson. And how about the diaper dragger? Not wasting any time getting to the stripe there. We're going to send that injected stroller into round number two. Wow, a Bugatti Chiron. When's the last time you saw one of those on the drag strip? Randy Forsyth wanted to see that one race here at Scaled Down Tucson Dragway. An opponent right here is going to be Frank Marino's 1970 Camaro. Now, that's a car that's used to the drag strip. Man, those Bugattis have got a whole lot of horsepower and showed off theirs. That was a wire-to-wire -wire win. We send the Bugatti on. Coming up next, the Sycamore Kid sends us the Corvette Concept. That's Lewis Long's machine over on the left side of the racetrack. And on the right lane, the one of Ava Thompson, a pink Formula One car. Well, what would you expect Ava to drive? A blue one? The Formula One car gets out of shape. These cars are not meant to launch the way they launch here at Scaled Down Tucson Dragway, and that's going to send the Sycamore Kid on into round number two. And that's going to send safety out on the racetrack once again to check on a driver. Well, they're not afraid to bring out the collector cars here at Scaled Down Tucson Dragway. That is a twin mill Gen E on the left side that Lexi Thompson sent us down here to race. An opponent in round number one, Caden Weber's machine out of Kearney, and that is a pro stock new Gen Camaro. And the pro stocker goes crazy, shakes the tires out of the groove upside down, and the twin engine Gen E gets the W. The bright red 57 Chevy, that's out of Martinez, California. Matthew Del Rosa sent us that car. And his opponent here in round number one is going to be Diego Rojas, 1932 Ford Coupe. Oh, great race, but the 57 holds the coupe off as they close in on the stripe. Looked like the coupe was a little out of the groove, and we'll watch him come across the finish line, but the 57 Chevy taking care of business. Up next, we got a great generational battle from Vail, Arizona. Connor Stock sent us that 16 model Gen 5 Camaro. And all the way from Indiana, that is a 55 custom Chevy Gasser, Cole and London. Verrall sent that in. Looks a little like blasphemy, doesn't it? And that one gets crazy out of shape, over the wall, off the premises, lands back on its wheels. That Gasser definitely. Uh, a little worse for wear after that one, but the driver able to get out and walk away. How about a matchup here of a couple of limited production Fords? The 10 model Shelby comes to us all the way from Virginia. Jeff Farmer sent that one to be a part of this, and he is going to take on the Ford GT out of Secaucus, New Jersey, of Xavier Brown. So we've got a car from Virginia. we got a car from New Jersey. We oh, and a problem for the GT. Must have broken axle. The car never left the starting line, and that is going to send Jeff Farmer's Shelby into round number two. What's that you say? You didn't expect to see a Mini Cooper here at Scaled Down Tucson Dragway? Why not? Brent Milliken thought that was the perfect choice, and he brought that one to us from right here locally. Over on the right side, also a Tucson car. That is the super smooth truck of Leo Burris. And the Mini taking care of business there as the truck gets a little bit out of groove on the center of the racetrack, but we'll send the Mini into round number two. Don't count out the little cars. Coming up now in the left lane, that 10 model Mustang of Stephanie Wallace. That's a Tucson based machine. And Maddie De La Rosa out of California sent us the number 17 Mon Monte Carlo stock car. You didn't think a stock car would outrun a drag car here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway, did you? Well, it didn't. Stephanie Wallace and her Mustang sending the stock car back to the circle track. This time it's going to be an all Chevrolet model. Ken De La Rosa sent us that 09 Corvette out of Martinez, California, and going to take on Natalie Graham. That's the Mini Marrow. This is actually a scaled down version of the car that she races here at full size Tucson Dragway. And the win's going to go to the Corvette here on this one. Good race, but the Corvette just a little bit too much for the Mini Marrow. Rolling in next out of Johns Island, South Carolina, Vance Lawson sent us that machine from the Minus Surf Shop. I didn't know they surfed a lot in South Carolina. 
Live and learn, I guess. Live and learn. And on the right side of the racetrack is going to be Joe Yeslis's car. That is a 1964 Gasser wagon. Check out the classic stance. Couple of blower machines. And wow, both the gassers out of shape off the starting line. One of them goes over the wall and into the next round goes the surf shop machine out of South Carolina. But Vance Lawson going to have a lot of work to do if he's going to get that thing turned around and ready to go for round two. And after a quick cleanup on the racetrack, we are right back at it. Ray Yeslis, 1968 Nova from right here at the big Tucson dragway over on the left side of the racetrack. And in the right is Steven Oliver Parr, a.k.a. Mr. Man out of Glendale, and that is a classic 64 Chevelle with a blower sticking out of the hood. It's going to be the green machine on the left side of the racetrack this time. On the left side of the racetrack is Greg Perry's beautiful 1967 Chevelle. Going to take on that 68 Shelby GT500 that Angela Jacobs sent us from Phoenix. Ford versus Chevrolet. This one's going to the Chevelle. Off the mark first. Looked like Angela was a little bit late at the light, and Greg Perry takes the win. Here's an interesting matchup that comes out of our round one blind draw with a 16 Cadillac ATS VR. That baby's got Road Racer written all over it. That is Rob Super's machine. And in round number one, the Road Racer is going to take on the off road racer. Wesley Schmidt sent us this truck out of Ventura, California. So the Road Racer and the Desert Racer. Whoa, what a drag race. We're going to have to go to the tail of the tape on that one. As we go back, take another look in slow-mo, it's going to be the Cadillac. Well, talking about unique machines here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway, Denise out of Martinez, California, sent us that left-lane Corvette, but it's not just a race car. It's also a pencil sharpener. No kidding. Chase D. Pascal sent us the C6 Corvette from right down the road in Vail, Arizona. So a couple of Chevrolets matching up side by side. The pencil sharpener getting the better of it. And it goes on into round number two. Coming up next out of Griffith Automotive, that 1968 Cougar over on the left side of the racetrack. And hey, a big thanks to Griffith Automotive for getting by, getting behind our Tucson Dragway Drive-In, two nights of movies here at the racetrack recently. Now, in the right lane, that is Kayla Parker. Kayla sent us in a Hot Wheel, but it was lost in shipping. Kayla wanted to be a part of this, so we're going to loan her one of our track trucks. And that's the Queen Creek-based machine on the right side here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway. This one's going to go to the Griffith Automotive, folks. That 1968 Cougar advances into round number two. Allison De La Rosa sent us the Fast Fish. This is a wild pairing, isn't it? Out of Martinez, California. An opponent here in round number one is going to be the Z-Rod of Daniel Martin. That looks like something we used to check out at the old World of Wheels here in town. Another great drag race. The Z-Rod, however, taking care of business by about a half a car length as they close in on the finish line stripe. This ought to be a fun little matchup with a couple of Hot Wheels. The Solaire on the left side is Kaylee Murphy's machine. She's from right here in Tucson, Arizona. And that is a Zuru. Yes, Zuru. David Wallace from here in Tucson brought that one in. And the Zuru taking care of business. That'll give us more time to make fun of the name. But uh, the Zuru making it happen. And Dave Wallace advances to round two. Our next pair of stage and ready to go. Jamie Stock out of Vail sends us the AMG to be part of the competition here this weekend. Going to go off here first round against Secaucus, New Jersey's Mod Rod that was mailed in by Sheldon Brown. And the Mod Rod, out of shape in the right lane, gets the camera at the eighth mile mark, ends up on its wheels, and that means Jamie Stock advances. Safety rolls one more time, and one more time, the driver is a okay ready to go now with kenzie wolcott's 1957 chevy all the way in from hayes kansas and check out ronnie edmondson's car he sent that from amarillo that is a 1967 pontiac gto official hot rod magazine test car that car's got an awful lot of history and wow the gto just does pull it off at the finish line stripe looked like the chevelle was out in front at the eighth mile but closing in on the finish line that hot rod horsepower pulls the gto around it we continue on here at scale down tucson dragway with a 1968 cougar and that thing is all the way from Topeka, Kansas. Elena Pope wanted to be a part of the show here, and she's going to take on Jake Burris here in round number one, the 41 Willies from right here in Tucson. 
And the Willies out of control off the starting line. And that means that Elena is going to make it happen with the Cougar advancing into round number two. Grayson Simmons going to attack the left side of the racetrack this time with his Iowa Park, Texas-based Pro Stock Camaro. And providing the opposition is going to be the truck they call Tweedy, the Ford F100, sent by Pat Wallace here in Tucson. And Tweedy takes care of it. Hey, you got a blower sticking out of the hood? And that was just enough horsepower to hold off that Pro Stock machine. How do you like your muscle car, old school or new school? On the left side out of Kingman, Arizona, is Eli Lampus's Ford Mustang Mach 1. And on the right side of the racetrack, Bunny Weber sent us that Challenger from Kearney, Arizona. This one's all Ford, the Mustang, sending the Challenger back to Kearney, a round one loser, as the Mustang advances, and we'll see Eli in round number two. This ought to be a fun matchup coming here. That solid muscle pickup, Jesse Rowley's truck out of Tucson, and the bed of that thing is filled with nitrous bottles. Veronica Moreno on the other side sent us that 1959 Impala, so this is going to be a local matchup. A couple of Tucson racers here at Scaled Down Tucson Dragway, and nitrous carries the day. It looked like when that third system kicked in, that was enough to poke the truck out in front and send him into the next round. Yep. That's Bubba Fett. I know it looks like a rat rod, but look closer. Straight from Star Wars. That's the machine that Ken George sent us. He's going to be in the left lane this time. Taking on Dan Marino's 1959 Mercury. The classic Merc and the Star Wars rat rod. This one's going to be a little uh, extra space motivation there. I don't know. Do they have warp drive in Star Wars? Sure look like it closing in on the finish line. Another one of our junior racers here at Full Size Tucson Dragway, Cade Renault, sends in that 68 El Camino, that custom machine out of El Mirage. And over here on the other side of the racetrack, Joe Rohr, 1941 Willys. That thing's got the look of an old school Pro Mod. Uh, and the Pro Mod off the starting mark gets out of shape, and Renault is going to take the win. Interesting matchup here, the new generation high-tech, high-horsepower C7R Corvette that was sent in by Hudson Hoke out of Sarita. And his opponent here in round number one, the Twin Mill. That's right, one engine, sometimes not enough. Oliver McEwen sent us that from Friday Harbor, and every time I see a two-engine car, I think somewhere Tommy Ivo is smiling. Terrific drag race, but the Corvette a little bit out of shape at the top end of the racetrack, and the Twin Mill carries it down to the stripe. Well, that car is known as Bubble Magic, and I imagine that you can see why. Interesting configuration. Somehow that reminds me a little bit of the classic Pope Mobile. And over on the other side, the 66 Fairlane of Jennifer Rohr from right here in Tucson. Bailey George in the Bubble Magic. The Bubble Magic making it happen over the Fairlane. Good side-by-side -side race all the way to the other end of Scale Down Tucson Dragway. Beware, unless the bubble pops. Another one of our stroller mobiles, the Hot Rod Baby Car. It's a boy. Grandpa Van Zant sent it in out of Johns Island, South Carolina, and Liam Parsons. He is the owner of the machine. On the right side, Andrew Olson out of Sacramento, and that is a classic 65 Mustang. Another guy taking advantage of the Arizona sun here with the top down, and the Mustang making it happen here at the top end of the racetrack. Another tremendous side-by-side -side race, but the two open-air cars, the wind goes to the Ford. Well, another one of our stock car friends decided to come over and take a crack here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway. Gavin Parker out of Queen Creek sent us the 88 car. And on the other side, the one from Olivia Yeslis. And that is a brand new, I mean a brand new, fifth generation Camaro. The circle car making it happen here. Looked like the Camaro had a little problem out there about the time it should have been in second or third gear. But it slowed through the mid-course. And that will give the win to Gavin Parker's car. Well, Gus Reyes sent in Woody to be a part of this, but unfortunately, Woody's hat is too big to fit here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway. That unable to pass tech, so will not be a part here in round number one. And Layla Travis in 69 Dodge Cornet Super B going to take a solo. That pink number seven car was sent to us by William Page in Marana, Arizona. And over on the other side of the racetrack, Colby Travis sent us the Big Head Custom, another local racer here. And Big Head getting the better of the pink machine here. The pink machine got out of the groove at about the eighth mile, and that'll send Big Head into round number two, not to be confused with Big Head from down in Texas.
The Raptor about to attack the left side of scale down Tucson Dragway here. The, that one sent all the way from Hayes, Kansas. And the Wolcott family, this is Colton's entry into the field. And Blake Weber's machine, the 1940 Ford out of Kearney, Arizona. The 40 Ford, a little bit out of the groove at the mid-course, and that's going to send the Hot Wheels truck on into round number two. So Wolcott with the Raptor making it happen here in a battle of pickup. And our final pair here in round one of Scaled Down Tucson Dragway, the 68 Classic Nova. John Vizette sent us that one. He's from right here in Tucson, playing a bit of a home game here. And Brian Palm's machine, all the way from Warner Robins, Georgia, the Acura. The Acura making it happen here. He didn't come all the way from Georgia to head home early, and that machine will head into round number two. When we get ready for round two, we're going to check in this week with the Don's Hot Rod Shop Tech Tip of the Week. We've seen a couple of Hot Wheels get out of control here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway, and the reason for that is pretty simple. Look at the way the launchers work. They are rubber band powered, and they've got kind of a little V-shape there that's pushing on the back of the car. So it's very important for the back of the car to be flat. Here's a couple of them that had problems in round number one. That spare tire is an issue. The car does not get a clean push on the back. The classic Willys also with the angled back. It does not get a clean push, has a tendency to jump, make the car pop off the racetrack right at the get-go. So remember, when you're racing Hot Wheels at Scaled Down Tucson Dragway, the back of the car is even more important than the front. All right, we're lined up, ready to go here for round number two at Scaled Down Tucson Dragway. On the left side of the racetrack, that's the Firebird of Ryan Rogel. And on the right side, Alberta, Canada's Richard Winnicott sent us the Cruise Bruiser. Said before, that bruiser looked like it'd be more at home tied to a sled. That time, I wouldn't say it was tied to a sled. It was a pretty good drag race, but the Firebird got the better of it at the finish line. Good showing for the cruise bruiser here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway, but he goes out here in round number two. Ron Shelley out of Phoenix, 74 Vega. That's going to be over on the left side of the racetrack. And in the right is Madeline Miller's machine, that Nissan Skyline GTR, all the way in from Bowling Green, Kentucky. And the Nissan making it happen. You got to beware of those GTRs. I don't care where they're racing, they are going to contend. In the left side, this is another one of the Alberta Canada cars, the Moon Eyes Wagon, sent in by Xander Wilcott and Bowling Green, Kentucky's Langston Miller. So we've got the Winnicott family and the Miller family going head to head here in round number two. That wagon is bad to the bone. That mid mounted engine gives it plenty of traction off the starting line, and it'll advance to the third round. Owen Hansen's Formula One machine out of Kingman, Arizona, now on the left side of the racetrack. And over in the right, the Batmobile. Na -na 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 Ito. Formula One machine taking care of the Batmobile. I didn't see that one coming. I figured Batman would use some rocket boosters or whatever it took. Michael Yeslis from right here in Tucson in the new generation Corvette. And that is the Solar Reflex of Phil Howell. A bright sunny day is all of that sun going to be able to help the Solar Reflex. Off the starting mark side by side. Oh, one of the best races of the day. And that solar machine still making it happen. As long as the clouds don't roll in, beware. The Falcon XB back again. Tyrone Oliver's Glendale, Arizona based machine going to take on Cat Martin's car. That is the Street Wiener from right here in Tucson. The Wiener making it happen one more time. They relished the first win, and they'll be back here in round number three. Here's a crazy matchup as we have got the 88 car, the stock car out of Queen Creek, Arizona, going up against the Bubble Magic from right here in Tucson. Terrific drag race. The Bubble Magic got off the mark first, but the stock car ran him down at the stripe. The classic convertible Mustang of Andrew Olson going to come in and attack the left side of the racetrack now. And over in the right lane, Boba Fett. Ken George's machine from right here. Then the Boba Fett taking care of business. Man, that was another great drag race. Great drag race. And check out the classic. It still looks like a rat rod to me. This one's going to be for bragging rights in the Miller household back in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Abigail on the left side, the 93 model Mustang. Joshua on the right side, the 1968 GT California Special. And the Fox body making it happen here. Looks like Abigail going to get the better of Joshua. She'll take that 93 Mustang into the third round. 
Louis Ingalls out of Brewster, New York. That brand new ZR1 Corvette over on the left side of the racetrack, and that's Connor Murphy, the snake, from right here in Tucson. And the New Yorker making it happen here. That Corvette making it look easy as he sends the snake scurrying back into his hole. That's Elijah Cunningham's Hot Wheels racer out of North Carolina on the left side of the racetrack. And the Dodge Express down from Alberta, Canada. Liam Winnicott sent that one to us here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway. Wow, looked like Kayla was, or looked like Elijah was off and running, but the car got out of shape in the mid course and slow and steady, at least in this case, the Dodge Express wins the race. Tomb up. Hey, why not? Racing death cars here, Eliza Wallace. It. In the left side of the racetrack in Cade Renault out of El Mirage. That is a 1968 El Camino. And the El Camino making it happen. How about Cade? First time jumping up into a big car, even though it is on a scaled down track. The junior racer showing some skills. The Raptor out of Kansas. That is Colton Wolcott's machine. And over on the right side of the racetrack is Colby Travis, the Big Head Custom. And Big Head. Going to send that pickup back to Kansas, disappointed here in round two. In the left side, Jason Renault driving that convertible Mustang. Pressure's on. He knows his brother has already advanced into round number three. For him to get there, he's going to have to get around Layla Travis in that 68 Dodge Coronet Super B. And Renault will join his brother in round number two. Could the brothers be headed for a late round showdown? They certainly hope so. Interesting that these two cars would pull in next to each other. The Volvo wagon of Michael Lee out of Elk Grove, California, this time going to take on the Mini. And that car was sent in by Brett Minikin from right here. And the Volvo getting it done right at the stripe. Another good solid drag race, but the Volvo wagon getting the better of it. One of the two hot rod strollers here in competition this weekend. This is the Diaper Dragger sent in by Baby Thompson. And over on the right side of the racetrack, Stephanie Wallace's Mustang. And the diaper machine looked like it was losing power at the top end of the racetrack, but able to hold on down to the stripe. We'll see the diaper dragger in round three. Well, easily the most expensive car here in competition this weekend, the Bugatti Chiron, or Brandy Forsyth, from right here in Marana. Opponent here is going to be that 09 Corvette. Ken De Del Rosa's machine, so a couple of muscle cars. One of them that cost over a million bucks and one of them that cost slightly less, but the Corvette taking care of business. Looked like the Bugatti was off the starting mark first, but out of shape at the mid-course, and that cost him the race. That's the Sycamore Kid over on the left side of the racetrack, Lewis Long's machine, and Ray Yusless in the 68 Nova. A couple of the local racers from right here battling it out for supremacy on their scaled-down home track, and the win's going to go to the left side. Lewis Long advances to third round. That'll bring up the twin mill, Lexi Thompson's Gen E machine on the left side of the racetrack, taking on the pencil sharpener, also known as the Corvette of Denise Martinez. And the pencil sharpener making it happen, taking care of the twin mill here in round number two. Couple of classics from 50 plus years ago. Greg Perry's beautiful 1967 Chevelle and the Griffith Automotive 1968 Cougar. These two cars could have gone head to head at the old Tucson Dragway. Chevelle was out in front for a while, but the Cougar looked like tracked him down right at the finish line. Matt De La Rosa's classic 57 Chevrolet all the way in from Martinez, California. Up next, and it's going to be Oliver McEwen, the other twin mill that's in competition here this weekend from Washington State. Great drag race. The 57 gets off the mark first and holds on, even though the twin mill was definitely closing in, but ran out of room. Now it's Connor Stock's 16 model Camaro on the left side of the racetrack and the beautiful Z-Rod. Again, a couple of local racers battling it out here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway. And the Z-Rod making it happen as he will advance to round number three. That is Tweedy, the Ford F-100 of Pat Wallace on the left side of the racetrack. And Jesse Raleigh's solid machine, the Nitrous Pickup. So a battle of the classic pickups, one with a couple of bottles, one with a blower sticking out of the hood. And this one goes the supercharged route, the force-fed Tweedy makes it happen. I thought I saw a nitrous truck. From a battle of pickups to a 10 model Shelby of Jeff Farmer, all the way down from Cedar Bluff, Virginia, or all the way in from, I should say, and the Cadillac ATSV of Rob Super. The Phoenix-based Cadillac, 
making it happen here. Great drag race as Shelby was hanging in there, just not quite enough oomph. This time up on the left side, the AMG of Jamie Stock from right to down the road in Vail. And over on the other side is going to be David Wallace's machine. They call it a Zuru. Got to be honest, I never heard of a Zuru. But we're going to hear of it at least one more time because the Zuru making it happen into round number three. Our official Hot Rod Magazine test car is back. The 67 Pontiac GTO out of Amarillo, Texas. Going to be there on the left side of the racetrack. And going to take on the Topeka-based Mercury Cougar, sent in by Elena Pope. Another terrific drag race for a couple of muscle cars, but the Cougar getting the better of the test machine here. Beware, Team Topeka. And our final pair here in round number two at Scale Down Tucson Dragway, the Mach 1 out of Kingman, Eli Lampus' machine, going to take on Brian Palms in the Acura for an invitation to round number three. And how about that car all the way in from Warner Robins, Georgia, making it happen here and making his way into round number three. Now, Van Slauson was supposed to be here in round number two, but you might remember the surfer in his winning run ended up upside down, was unable to get the car repaired and come back. So we are set now for round three. A couple of our family race teams as we kick off round number three with Alberta, Canada's Dodge Express, Liam Winnicott of the Winnicott family. He's going to be over there on the left side of the racetrack and in the right lane, Cade Renault, the Renault brothers, out of junior dragsters into big cars and trying to advance here at scale down Tucson Dragway. Not going to happen here, however, as the Canadian pickup, the Dodge Express, will advance into round number four. Well, the pencil sharpener has survived a few by staying alive here. That's Dennis Martinez's Corvette. But will it be enough to take out the Formula One car of Owen Hansen? Survey says yes. The Corvette continues on, and Denise Martinez makes her way into round number four. Fun matchup here, that 1968 Cougar from Griffith Automotive right here in Tucson, and Cat Martin, who decided that she was going to race the street wiener. Whoa, the Cougar was out in front off the starting mark, but the wiener was able to catch up. Get it? Catch up? That'll bring up the Cadillac ATS, Rob Super's machine out of Phoenix, taking on the diaper dragger of Baby Thompson. The Thompson family who sent a fleet of race cars here to scale down Tucson Dragway, and this one is staying alive. Well, Boba Fett back one more time. Ken George's Star Wars racer going to take on the Acura all the way in from Georgia, Brian Palms. Beware. Anybody from outer space, the Star Wars machine keeps it going. Ken George and Boba Fett advanced to round four. Team Solar back one more time, and the sun's still shining brightly here on Scale Down Tucson Dragway as Dave Wallace rolls the Zuru up in the right side. Make hay while the sun shines, or turn on scoreboards while the sun shines. Phil Howell is keeping it going with the Solar Reflex. Not counting the super wacky cars, I'm not sure we could have two more diametrically opposed than this pair. That is a Nissan Skyline GTR, high-tech machine all the way in from Bowling Green, Kentucky, and Matt De La Rosa's classic 1957 Chevy with a big block. Terrific drag race, and the big block Chevrolet makes it happen. That one was side-by-side -side all the way to the stripe. Well, I talked about cars that would have been at home at the World of Wheels. How about that Moon Eyes Wagon all the way down from Alberta, Canada? Going to be lined up on the left side of the racetrack, taking on Dan Martin's Z-Rod, who is racing a whole lot closer to home. The Z-Rod losing traction out there in the middle, and the wagon advance. The stock car number 88 making its way back here as Gavin Parker brings his machine up to bear against... Tweety! Let's see if he can do anything with Pat Wallace's pickup. The stock car does take care of business with Pat Wallace's pickup from one end to the other, and Gavin Parker's number 88 will advance. Ken De La Rosa's Corvette now up here on the left side of the racetrack, and Lewis Long's Hot Wheel Racer. Let's see what the Sycamore Kids got in store here. Gonna, Sycamore Kids going to come up a little bit short on that one to the Corvette, Ken De La Rosa. Moves on. Well, the Volvo 850 still hanging in there. That's Michael Lee's machine going to be over on the left side of the racetrack. And Abigail Miller with that Fox body forward in from Bowling Green on the right. 
The Volvo, I think, surprising some people out here this weekend. You wouldn't think of that and think drag racer, but so far, so good. Getting down towards the end here of round number three as we bring up that brand new Corvette. Once again, Louis Engels all the way from New York to be a part of this here. Going to take on Tucson's Raiden Rogel in the Firebird. Terrific drag race. We're going to have to check that again on the instant replay. Well, CompuLink said it was the Firebird by less than a thou, and the video replay shows just that. By an eyelash, the Firebird gets the win. Our final pair here in this round, it's going to feature Jace Renal in the Mustang Convertible, still enjoying the sunlight out here as he's going to go head-to-head -head with the big head, Colby Travis. And the Renaults are not done yet. As closing the deal this time is Jace, and he will advance into round number four. The Byron with the odd number of cars coming back this time to Dennis Marshall. So we'll see him when we come back. 14 cars left as we random pair them throughout the course of the day here. And this time, Ken De La Rosa in the Corvette's going to be on the left side of the racetrack. And Elena Pope, I mentioned Dennis Marshall with the buy run earlier. He's the one that sent the car in for Elena, and she is in that 1968 Cougar. Winlight's going to go to the left lane, and the Corvette, Ken De La Rosa, advances to the round of seven. Jace Renault, the Mustang convertible over on the left side, going to see if he can knock the tip off the pencil sharpener here as we go into the late rounds at Scale Down Tucson Dragway. And he does. The pencil sharpener stubbed its toe out there in the middle of the race course, and Jace Renault taking full advantage of his opportunity here in the big car on the Scale Down track. Here is Matt De La Rosa now in his classic 57 Chevy up against Boba Fett. The force so far has definitely been with him and continues to do so. That thing is rocket fast off the starting line, smooth through the middle, and Boba Fett advances. Fun matchup here. I don't know how many people pictured the stock car and the street wiener going late into the rounds here, but one of them is going to continue on as we race them off here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway, and it's going to be the stock car. Well... Charlie Brown said, misery is a cold hot dog. Misery is a wind light in the other lane. Well, Team Sunshine back up on the left side of the racetrack. The Solar Reflex taking on the classic Firebird, Raiden Rogel, from right here in Tucson. Firebird making it happen here. I don't know if they didn't have enough time between rounds to charge the batteries or not. Time's getting tight here as we get later into the rounds at scale down Tucson Dragway. In our blind draw, the Winnicott family ends up side by side. That is the Moon Eyes Wagon Xander's machine in the left side and Liam's Dodge Express in the right. And the wagon making it happen as the Dodge gets a little bit out of shape out there on the mid-course. Never even made it all the way down to the finish line stripe. That mid-engine wagon looking good. The Moon Eyes Wagon has advanced. Will it be joined in the next round by the Volvo Wagon? Or will the Diaper Dragger make it happen here? It's going to be the Diaper Dragger getting it done. That wagon slowed down a little bit out in the mid-course, and Volvo goes by the wayside. We are now down to seven. Seven cars back in the quarterfinals, so we've got three pairs and a solo. Out first is going to be Raiden Rogel with the Firebird over on the left side of the racetrack. And in the right lane is that new generation Corvette of Ken De La Rosa from California. It's going to be the Firebirds. The Corvette got a little bit loose and ends up coming to a stop right at the finish line stripe. Mechanical problems in the Corvette sends the Firebird to the final four. Back one more time is Jace Renault in the drop top 65 convertible Mustang taking on the 88 car, the stock car of Gavin Parker from Queen Creek. And Gavin Parker keeps it going. I don't think a whole lot of people expected that stock car to be going rounds here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway, but he is in the semis. Well, talk about interesting cars late in the rounds. We've got the Boba Fett Star Wars machine over on the left side, and in the right side is going to be the Diaper Dragger of Baby Thompson. And the Diaper Dragger is going to make his way into the semifinals. Apparently the Force abandoned Boba Fett. 
Xander Winnicott was drawn for the buy run, opted to take it. It is optional here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway. But the way that Moon Eyes car is running, wanted to test in tune, and we are now down to the final four. We are down to the final four. It's the Moon Eyes wagon against the number 88 stock car. Who's going to come back and run for the grand prize? It's going to be the stock car. Another good, solid run. The Moon Eyes machine, been strong all day long, but just didn't quite have enough here in the semis. The stock car awaits the winner. Will it be Raiden Rogel's Firebird from right here in Tucson, or will it be Baby Thompson in the Diaper Dragger from just up the road in Marana? And it is going to be the Diaper Dragger taking on the stock car for the grand prize here at the first open competition at Scale Down Tucson Dragway. Here's what we're racing for, the grand prize, a Hot Wheels action drag strip challenge of your very own. And we have got our final two competitors parked down there in front of the tower. Gavin Parker, stock car, the number 88 machine out of Queen Creek, Arizona. Or will it be Baby Thompson, the diaper dragger out of Marana? They've had time to cool down. It's time to stage them up and race. The final pair after a long day here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway with a Hot Wheels action drag strip. Up for grabs. It's the diaper dragger on one side. It's the stock car on the other. For all the marbles here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway, and it's going to be the diaper dragger making it happen. A great drag race down to the stripe. The stock car with a good solid showing for our left turn crowd, but coming up a little bit short here in the final round. Congratulations to Baby Thompson and the entire family out of Marana. They sent a fleet of race cars, and the diaper dragger takes home the big trophy here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway. Hey, thanks for joining us. Hope you had as much fun watching this as we had doing it, and hopefully we'll be back to racing big cars very, very soon. For all of us here at Scale Down Tucson Dragway, be safe, be healthy. I'm Alan Reinhardt. Good night. We'll see you next time.